From the mind of Mark Yoshimoto Nemkov. This right here is the AKG Perception 420. The reason I'm not talking into it yet is because the 420 is supposed to be a copy of the U87. And I want to baseline your ear holes with an actual U87 before we switch over. Now, what they did with the Perception 420. This microphone came out, I think, in like 2008 or 2009, something like that. This mic's been out for a while. And I don't even think they make it anymore. I think they stopped production on these. But the AKG P420, Perception 420, they took the entire U87 circuit and jammed it in there. And then they used a capsule that is not exactly the real thing, but not bad. Let's hear it. So this is the AKG Perception 420. And you might be saying, that doesn't sound anything like that. <laughs> it sure doesn't. It sounds a little too thin. And that's the problem. They took the exact U87 circuit, but they didn't tune it for this particular capsule. So what we're going to do, we're going to mod this mic to make it sound more like that. Or at least that's the, uh, that's the attempt here. We're going to use the King Korg. We're going back to the King Korg Capsule College of Knowledge. King Korg over at Group DIY. Very, very astute microphone man. He really knows his stuff. I mean, I've learned like pretty much half of what I know about microphones from reading King Korg's post on Group DIY. Now, again, this is the Perception 420 unmodded. And let's go back to the U87. And this definitely sounds darker. But if you really dig into it, right, there's a very similar mid-range. It feels like a little bit more low-end. But this particular U87, I think, has a spectacular low-end, very rich low-end. Let's go back here. So I think there's a lot of similarity in the mid-range and the low end feels lost. And I think a lot of that is because there's about 2 or 3 dB too much going on in the high end. But this mod that King Korg discovered, the one, the first one he posted, and this, is, this was like 7 years ago. This mod that he posted changes the high end contour of the Perception P420 to something more like that. So let's give it a shot. So I'm just going to, here, it sounds pretty sibilant. So she sells seashells by the seashore. She sells seashells by the seashore. She sells seashells by the seashore, right? Definitely more controlled than those S's. So save 69.69 on a silver, save 69.69 on a silver sedan on Saturday. Save 69.69 on a silver sedan on Saturday. I have a, I have a pretty sibling voice, as things go. But this definitely doesn't help. So let's see what this mod does. It's a one capacitor. One capacitor. And we're going to change this mic forever. Let's do it. This is how you mod the AKG Perception 420 Series microphone, yeah. Perception 420, right? With the mod on it. Definitely, definitely improves the crap out of it. I mean, it sounds more balanced because you've, you've taken out the, the perception. The perception of the high end was that it was way too much. And you've taken that out, so it feels a lot more balanced. You definitely feel more of that low end. And all I did was contour, contour the high end. And so let's go back to the U87. I feel like this is a little bit more popping, a little bit more forward, right? I mean, this is U87-ish. But this, for you can find these for less than 200 bucks now. And, you know, the capacitor cost you like a dollar. <laughs> if that, <laughs> you know, um, capacitor costs you like 25 cents, really. So, I mean, when you think about it, uh, somebody on the Discord server said that, yeah, they, uh, they felt they were, they were angry that AKG had put out the best sub-$200 mic microphone out there after you mod it. Before you mod it, it sounds like a less than $200 microphone. But here, I mean, again, it is not, it's not dead on close, but I like it. I like it. I like the character of this mic now. And, uh, all right, character. Ah, the sound of this 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 microphone is, is pretty cool, man. I, I, I kind of like it. I kind of like the sound of this microphone. It's it's pretty cool, man. So, um, overall, right? Not a bad, I mean, great result for the mod. I'm really happy about that. 
And as far as uh, U87, as far as U87 style uh, microphones go, uh, I think this is an excellent option. I like the modded perception better than I do the, uh, the fake AliExpress TLM-103, to be perfectly honest with you. And a lot of it is because, again, they, they completely stole <laughs> the U87 circuit in here. It's a total analog of the circuit. As a matter of fact, there are parts in the U87 circuit that are there but aren't used, okay? Uh, that's a discussion for another time. They include those in the, in the Perception 420. That's how much of a rip it is. <laughs> Isn't that great? So, uh, hey, let the, you know, this mic's been out for 15 years, so I'm sure it's been sorted out or whatever. Maybe it's been licensed. Who knows? Who cares? It doesn't matter. The only thing that matters is the sound. And the sound of this right here, this is a usable mic. This is, a, this is actually a really decent sounding mic now. And I had, I had been, I have known about this mod. I first read about this mod. I first read about this mod on, um, on Group DIY seven years ago. And I had been like curiously eyeballing it, but wasn't exactly like ready to jump in because I just didn't like the look of the Perception microphone. The AKG Perception microphone to me looked like a cheap microphone. It didn't look like a great microphone. Um, so I, I kind of was, eh, eh, I don't want to get one of those and mod one of those. And, uh, but, uh, after Jared, <laughs> after Jared at the Discord server got one and modded his, I was like, all right, I, I gotta try. And again, these things are dirt cheap. I think they, I think they've actually stopped again. I think they've stopped production on all the perception mics because they've been blowing them out on Amazon, like for super cheap. Uh, so they're either going to replace it with something else or they're just going to get rid of it because AKG is now is no longer AKG, right? You, you realize that. This was designed when AKG was AKG. And then since then, AKG was bought by Harman and then Harman was bought by, uh, um, oh my God, I can't think of their name. Uh, I, come on, tell me what it is. Harman was bought by, not Behringer. Uh, oh God, AKG is not owned by, AKG is owned by Samsung. Samsung. The people who make your monitors and your TVs, Samsung owns AKG. And they might have said, eh, we don't want that business. The inside of this mic, if you look at the pictures of it, um, surface mount, right? And I mean, I, I had a bias against surface mount mics. I thought they would sound a little, a little too, too uh, clinical and harsh. But I mean, there's a place for that sound. And all, all, overall, I mean, I'm, I find this sound very agreeable. I think I could work with this sound. I could take this mic with me on vacation or if I ever go on vacation. If I ever deem myself available to go on vacation. <laughs> I could take this mic with me. Um, I could take it on the road. I could just throw it in the car. I could just keep it around because for a hundred bucks used, and this is the 420, you can find the 220, which is just the cardioid only one. Um, the, the Perception 400 series, uh, the Perception 200 series, same exact mic on the inside. It's just the 200s are cardioid only. The 400s are, are double diaphragm, so you can get all all three polar patterns, all three traditional polar patterns, Fig 8 and Omni, which I never use. And the reason I bought the 420 again is because uh, I thought it would be a closer analog to the U87 because twin dual-sided capsules do sound different in cardioid than just a single-sided capsule. Um, so anyway, and, and again, let's talk about the capsule for a second. That's the last thing I have to talk about. Why this ends up being a legitimate sounding microphone has less to do with the circuit that's inside, but more to do with the fact that uh, the capsule in here is a Tacstar TSC2. Um, we can get rid of this now. So the Tacstar TSC2, TSC2 um, is a very highly regarded uh, Chinese manufactured capsule, a copy of a K87. Uh, very highly regarded because it follows the EQ curve of the original Neumann capsule pretty closely except for a little bit of a brighter high end, um, you know, which is, seems to be a hallmark of, of a lot of Chinese microphones, so a little bit more higher, high end on it. 
Because um, I think, again, uh, the high end imparts a little bit more detail, but, you know, it could be problematic depending upon the balance of the microphone, the tonal balance, et cetera, et cetera. Um, but this works, right? This works. It feels like feels like this mic with maybe like a, a dB at 9. So I could, I could even EQ this a little bit more, but I like this where this is. Um, but the capsule, the Tackstar TSC2 in here, very highly regarded, and even more important, uh, consistency. The consistency of from capsule to capsule is like dead on. So very, uh, very highly regarded capsule, uh, highly regarded circuit. Um, you know, a couple of the little things, uh, the the maybe a little bit less mid range bite on it has to do more with the uh, the head basket shape, the cylindrical head basket shape, as opposed to the chiseled head basket shape which gives it a little bit more of that uh forward upper mid-range bite where is it right there <laughs> so uh yeah so all right so what are my thoughts on the perception 420 mod um first of all it is not it's a one capacitor but you're replacing a surface mount component that is really small <laughs> it's so small that when i when when I was able to, you know, uh, and, and you need a, you definitely need a uh, soldering iron with a, with a sharp point on it because there's not a whole lot of room in there. So you need good eyes, good hands. My hands, my hands could be better. I could not be an eye surgeon. If I was an eye surgeon, there would be, a, there would be a lot of, <laughs> the, I should be an eye surgeon only to increase the amount of service dogs that go into uh, a, <laughs> into people's homes. No, I'm just kidding. No, I could I could increase the seeing eye dog business. Anybody who's a seeing eye dog, uh, breeds and trains seeing eye dogs, if you want to fund my uh, medical school degree, we could we could probably make out pretty well together, you know, financially. Um because my hands are are not exactly uh, meant for removing little tiny and and you need and you get a, you need a pair of tweezers too it would help. Um, so overall, not the easiest mod. It's easy, but it's, it's a little bit, uh, tricky. You have to have decent hands, good eyes, um, pointy tip on your soldering iron and patience because, uh, you know, removing a, a single tiny, teeny tiny, and it's so small. It's so small that when I removed it, it fell off and it fell in somewhere inside the mic and I have no idea where it is. It's not on my desk. It may be on the floor, I hope. <laughs> so it disappeared. It's so small, it just vanished into thin air. And then replacing it, putting the new one on there. And there, there, are, there's a great video out there. The reason I didn't shoot it, because I wanted to get back in the booth as quickly as possible. <laughs> and uh, I have a lot going on today. So, um, but also there's, there's a great video out there. And I couldn't, I, cu I couldn't find the thing that holds my phone so I could do it above the thing. <laughs> Hold it <laughs> so I could shoot it. So I was like, ah. Let's just get it done. Um, so there's documentation on it. There's a great thread on group DIY. Um, so my final, all right, my final review on this mod. The end result is fantastic. I, I really like this. I, th I think there's a place for this. Um, you know, or maybe I'll just sell it. I don't know, but I like the result. The result is a success. So uh, yeah, King Korg again, posting this uh, in group DIY. Uh, you know, he talked about his results and his results were, were, were very wildly successful. And, uh, I, I would have to agree with that. So King Corey College of Knowledge again, definitely, uh, <laughs> you've all graduated another course in the King course, the King Corey Capsule College of Knowledge. So it works. Um, the degree of difficulty on this, hmm, moderate. Um, again, you're only replacing one capsule one capsule, one, one uh, capacitor. Um, but, uh, yeah, I, it was, I, I've, I haven't really worked with surface mount stuff at all. Um, I've taken surface mount components off of other microphones in my Frankenstein era. Um, but they were larger than this one. This one is really tiny. So, uh, d difficult, difficulty, moderate. Um, but overall the results are worth it. So Perception 420 mod uh, definitely gets a, uh, uh, the, <laughs> the, the uh, seal of approval here. So, um, all right, what do you think? What do you think of this? All right, let's just hold on. Let me uh, bring up the, uh, hold on, I lost my mixer. 
<laughs> and oh, here we go. All right, so here we go. Perception 420. And the uh, the Neumann U87 AI. I actually think the the 420 sounds a little bit more clear. I, I This actually sounds a little bit more like it needs a, a touch of EQ now on post. But this sounds a little bit more finished. So uh, there you go. All right, I want to know what you think. Perception 420 mod. And you know what else? Again, I, I didn't like these mics because I thought they were cheap, but they're built, it's built like a tank. I mean, it really is. You could put this in a sock and, and like defend your home with it. <laughs> you could if you had to. Um, I like this blue color. It's different. It's like, it's cool. I don't think it photographs well. I don't think it looks as good on, on online in pictures as it does in person. So what do you think? Perception 420. Yay or nay? Are you in? Let me know. All right, until next time, this is Mark Yoshimoto Nemkov, Fading to Black.